who is leading in ongoing infrastructural projects between Mauritius and Seychelles. Mauritius and Seychelles are two small island nations in the Indian Ocean. Both countries are committed to developing their infrastructure in order to improve their economies and attract tourists. In today's video, we shall compare Mauritius and Seychelles to see who is doing well in trying to develop the country with mega ongoing or completed projects. We shall look at the ongoing or completed projects in both countries. And at the end of this video, we will determine which country is doing a better job. If you are ready, please subscribe to my channel right now and let's get started. Round 1. Let's look at a few ongoing or completed projects in Mauritius. Number 9. Metro Express. This is a brand new light rail system that is being constructed in Port Louis, the nation's capital. The $1.2 billion Metro Express is planned to be finished in 2025. The 26-kilometer Metro Express will have 21 stations and travel those distances. It will reportedly cut the distance between Port Louis and Kirpipe, Mauritius, second largest city, from 45 to 30 minutes. Number 8. International Finance Center. In Port Louis, a new financial area is currently being built. The $2 billion International Finance Center is planned to be finished in 2026. International companies and financial institutions will congregate at the International Finance Center. It is anticipated to grow the Mauritian economy and generate thousands of new jobs. Number 7. Tamarin Waterfront. On Mauritius West Coast, a brand new waterfront development is currently being constructed. The $3 billion Tamarin Waterfront is planned to be finished in 2027. A marina will be part of the mixed-use Tamarin Waterfront development, which will also have hotels, resorts, apartments, retail stores, and dining establishments. It is anticipated to draw visitors from around the world. Number 6. Airport Expansion A significant expansion project is currently underway at the Sir C. Wusagur Rangulam International Airport. The project will cost $1 billion and should be finished in 2025. A new terminal, a new runway, and a new cargo terminal will be built as part of the expansion. Number 5. Smart City In the vicinity of Phoenix, the Mauritius government intends to build a new smart city. A mixed-use community with residences, businesses, schools, hospitals, and parks will make up the smart city. The smart city's residents will enjoy a higher standard of living thanks to the use of cutting-edge technology and renewable energy sources. Number 4. Port Louis Waterfront The government of Mauritius is planning to redevelop the Port Louis Waterfront. The redevelopment will include the construction of new hotels, apartments, shops, restaurants, and a marina. The redevelopment is expected to attract tourists and businesses to the capital city. Number 3. Blue Economy the blue economy is a term used to describe the economic opportunities that arise from the sustainable use of the ocean. Mauritius is a small island nation with a long coastline, and the ocean plays an important role in the country's economy. The government of Mauritius is developing a new blue economy strategy to promote sustainable development of the marine resources of Mauritius. The strategy will focus on aquaculture, offshore wind energy, and marine tourism. Number 2. Tourism Infrastructure Mauritius is a popular tourist destination, and the government is investing in improving the tourism infrastructure of the country. The government has plans to build new hotels, resorts, and tourist attractions throughout the country. This will attract more tourists to Mauritius and boost the economy. Number 1. Sports Infrastructure The government of Mauritius is investing in improving the sports infrastructure of the country. The government has plans to build new stadiums, sports centers, and training facilities throughout the country. This will help to develop sports in Mauritius and improve the performance of Mauritian athletes at the international level. Round 2. Let's look at a few ongoing or completed projects in Seychelles. Number 9. Province Waterfront. On May Island's east coast, a brand new waterfront development is currently being constructed. The $1 billion Providence Waterfront Project is anticipated to be finished in 2024. A marina, hotels, resorts, apartments, stores, and restaurants will all be a part of the mixed-use Providence Waterfront development. It is anticipated to draw visitors from around the world. Number 8. International Airport On the island of Praslin, a brand new international airport is currently being constructed. The $500 million International Airport is scheduled to be finished in 2025. Larger aircraft will be able to land at the new airport, 
simplifying travel to the Seychelles for tourists. Number 7. Road Network Seychelles is spending money to expand its road system. The nation's roads will be improved and new ones will be built, according to the government. People will find it simpler to get around as a result, and it will also help the economy grow. Number 6. Port Victoria Waterfront The Port Victoria Waterfront will be developed by the Seychelles government. Construction of new hotels, apartments, stores, restaurants, and a marina are all part of the redevelopment. The capital city's redevelopment is anticipated to draw business and tourists. Number 5. Healthcare Infrastructure The Seychelles government is making investments to upgrade the country's healthcare system. The nation will soon have new clinics and hospitals, thanks to government initiatives. This will improve the quality of healthcare for the people of Seychelles. Number 4. Education Infrastructure the Seychelles government is making investments to upgrade the country's education infrastructure. The Seychelles population's access to higher quality education infrastructure will result from this. Number 3. ICT Infrastructure The government of Seychelles is investing in improving its ICT infrastructure. The government has plans to build a new national broadband network and to provide free Wi-Fi access in public areas. This will improve the connectivity of Seychelles and make it a more attractive destination for businesses and investors. Number 2. Airport Expansion The International Airport on May Island will be expanded by the government of the Seychelles. New terminal and runway construction will be a part of the expansion. As a result, Seychelles will be able to accommodate bigger aircraft and welcome more tourists. Number 1. Port Victoria Cruise Terminal the Seychelles government is planning to build a new cruise terminal in Port Victoria. The terminal will be able to handle larger cruise ships and will attract more cruise tourists to Seychelles. In conclusion, Mauritius is leading in ongoing infrastructural projects between the countries Mauritius and Seychelles. The country is investing heavily in new infrastructure, such as a light rail system, a financial district, and a waterfront development. Seychelles is also investing in infrastructure, but on a smaller scale. The country is building a new waterfront development, an international airport, and improving its road network. It will be interesting to see how these projects develop in the coming years.